Hey everybody, good morning, it's Dory, I am back. I'm gonna do what I eat in a day video today. Uh, just really spur of the moment, nothing that I planned. Um, I did a little bit of food prep, uh, not too much. I'm going to make some uh, egg bites later because I really, really like these. Um, so yeah, I have been a little MIA. Later I'm going to try to put up an update video um, my husband, as you guys know, has come home uh, after being gone almost six months. Uh, it has been fun, amazing. We are having a great time. Uh, I know they had mentioned prior to him leaving and then during the time that he was being briefed um, at his tech school that uh, coming home, he may, uh, you know, it may be some sort of a transition between us because I have, you know, kind of been the alpha dog. Um, here with our kids and with discipline and with shopping and things of that nature and so um, yeah basically I am trying to get back into a schedule because him being home and then now uh, he was home he came in late Saturday night he was home uh, Sunday and Monday for the holiday started back at work Tuesday his shift is 6 30 to 4 um, Usually Monday through Friday, some days he'll get a three-day weekend, and then some weekends he'll work when it's a drill weekend because he's guard. And so I'm just trying to uh, be helpful and loving and all that good stuff. And so it's been really good. The kids are excited that he's home today. I am like crazy. I woke up at 5 in the morning with him to get him off to work to make sure that everything was good. Um, and truth be told i love when he gets into his abus <laughs> that's the fatigues we're used to calling them fatigues they're going to be changing over to ocps which is just a different print it's going to look like army but i am totally loving his abus um ugh, my man in uniform anyway so he actually brought me home my own uh abu pants and a santee which i wore yesterday uh, i'll put a i'll insert a picture at the end of this video uh to show you um that pic and then um yeah so i'm gonna do what i eat in a day so far it is 9 15 a.m i've been up since five the only thing that i have consumed is uh 40 ounces of water uh, which I have with, let me get my little packs. I know I showed you guys these before. Today I had it with this. Um, I usually, ooh, I don't think I have any more. Let me see if I have any more of them single. Oh, here, here's a pack. My last pack I need to order from Amazon. But I usually use these. Uh, these are all sugar-free, and I really like them. You will, of course, hear my kids fighting in the background because they're playing Wii. Uh, and the little one who's four is getting upset and the nine-year-old girl is a boss and my seven-year-old boy is trying to get it all done and here they come to tell me exactly what happened I'm telling you anyhow I hear the gate down I'm making cookies I own a company let's see if I can yep and those are on the rack and actually before I burn these let me check okay those are almost done um, so I'm, I own a lactation cookie company. I make cookies that contain ingredients that are great for uh, mamas who are breastfeeding. So my first meal I'm gonna eat, I'm very hungry today for some reason. So I ate some of it, but it's basically three egg bites, which is 111 calories each, and then um, some ham, which is this. I don't normally buy this. Um, I don't think my husband noticed that it said honey ham on it, so there are carbs. Uh, not a whole lot, but enough that I won't buy it again. I'll just buy plain ham. But basically, there's three egg bites, two ounces of ham. It's about maybe 500 calories, I think. Um, I'm eating very slow, and so I am getting full already, and so that's only really half of that. So I will put it in the microwave for later when I feel a little bit more hungry. But that is all that I've had so far. I have not had coffee yet. And I have not taken my vitamins. I have had some collagen peptides in my water and some Miralax. Uh, but other than that, I have not taken my vitamins. So I'll be back in a little while with an update. Hey guys, I'm back. Let me just fix my little phone camera that I messed up. So I'm going to be making my egg bites. It's so simple. There's only three, well, four ingredients if you count the 
uh, garlics, uh, garlic, um, not salt, but garlic powder. Um, so basically, I'm using Trader Joe's uncured no nitrate bacon. It's my favorite bacon. Um, I am frying up a bunch because the kids want some to go with their lunch. So I'm frying this up and basically I am going to take a bacon sheet. This I only fill with water and then I put these on top. This is just a regular 12 muffin tin. So I take the muffin tin, I don't fill it up with water till the end underneath, but I take the mu muffin tin and I go ahead and spray, I'm gonna have to put it like this because I'm running out. So basically I spray each um, space here, there's 12, and I take um, eight strips of bacon and I crumble it up there's 12, so I do like, let's see, I do like one and a quarter, or not one and a quarter, about about three quarters of one piece of bacon in each, each one. And then I have here, this is three ounces, and I just use this from Walmart. It's the mild cheddar. So I take three ounces of this, and then I have 10 eggs. These are the uh, large or sometimes I use extra large cage free organic eggs from Trader Joe's so I put this just in my um, little mixer and I just mix that up and then let me see if I could find it here it is garlic so I'm just gonna use this garlic powder on top and so it's really really simple once I have the, the part that just takes the longest is really only the bacon because of course you have to wait for it to be um, ready and you have to wait for it to be cooled. So I have a bunch here that's already cooled down. And so I'm going to get another plate to put my kids bacon on. And I've already preheated the oven. I preheat the oven on 325. I know there's a lot of recipes out there that say to do the egg bites at 350. Uh, some might even be higher, some might be lower. I'm not sure, but this is what's worked for me to make them come out as well as um, as um, Starbucks. The ones that I made are just delicious. Let me grab them for you. These I made the other day. And so these actually come out looking just like the ones at Starbucks. Um, oops, it's a good thing these are only mine. <laughs> um, so basically I have three left out of the 12 that I made like four days ago maybe. Um, but they are delicious. So I'm gonna take bacon and like I said, it's about three quarters of a strip. These are cut in half. So this is actually two of these equals a strip. So I'm just gonna throw it in here just like so. Again, these are just for me. So, um, of course, my husband wants some. He can have some too. Um, one of my kids tried it and they liked it, um, but, you know, not something that they really felt that they needed to have. So, each one of these, because the uh, this bacon actually contains a lot less calories and fat than um, the Oscar Mayer. Um, so these are actually only 107 calories for each one. That's it. Um, I can eat two to three per um, two to three per um, meal if I choose to have it with sometimes I have it with bacon. Yesterday I had it with bacon. This morning I had it with some ham, which you saw earlier. I haven't eaten anything since then. I was able to go ahead and finish that. Excuse me while I grab my little towel. And uh, so I was able to finish that. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to put in the cheese. And this is, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just three ounces. I just do it till it looks like it is even. And then See, if I have any left, then I'll go back around. Um, 
but basically I just fill it up like this. It's so easy peasy, you guys, and it's such a great snack, meal. Um, it's just such a versatile thing, and it has so much great protein and so much really good fat. I mean, this is keto, this is paleo, this is, this fits in really to anybody's um, diet. And then I'm going to take, here it is, my garlic, and I'm just gonna sprinkle on, I should actually put it on a plate so I don't overdo it. Although, I love garlic. Garlic and cilantro are my faves to cook with. I love fresh cilantro. I always have it growing in the backyard when it's more seasonal around here. Um, and so, yeah, so I just put that in. It's a good thing I put it on the plate because... And then now I just go around and fill it up just a little because then I go back around um, for um, in case I need to even it out but I'm basically just making sure that they all look the same um, that all the ingredients are just covered over a tiny bit and then the ones once it settles I'm able to see which needs more egg and which does not so yeah so I can totally see you know there's a couple that need a little bit more so that they're all even um, let's see. And these I'll just watch as they cook. I'm probably going to end up, um, I think it was like, don't quote me. I will definitely bring you guys back when I take them out and let you know exactly how much time. But I want to say it was like 15, 20 minutes. Maybe, maybe it was more like a half an hour. But in any event, yeah, these came out, are going to come out even better, I think, than the batch I just made, which... I love those. Um, probably the thing I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna guess it's because the last time I did the 10 eggs, I whipped them by hand myself. And this time I put them in my um, KitchenAid mixer. And I think that that's probably why they came out with maybe a little bit more fluffiness, a little bit more egg. Uh, I remember doing it and having like thick drops of egg in each one. So my oven just told me that it's ready. So I'm gonna move this right here and I'm just going to fill this with water. And I really don't know the huge significance to this water thing. I think someone says it cooks evenly, maybe it makes it more moist, but whatever the deal, I like it. My oven is at 325. I'm going to leave the oven light on as I put these in here. And my oven light is on. It is 1145 exactly. I will be back when I pull those out of the oven. Okay, guys, so I'm back. These egg bites are now done. They were in for exactly a half an hour. So they came out good. I usually check them at about 20 minutes. I stick a knife, just a butter knife, in the middle, just like I would a... Um, a muffin and so all I do now is I just go around with the knife and I just pop them right out and as you can see I mean they're very very hot but as you can see they're they're springy like um, that kind of a texture kind of the same thing that they have at uh, Starbucks and uh, they come out fairly easy a couple of them I might have to just go around so I don't tear them uh, but for the most part I mean, they're great. You can see a little bit of the melted cheese on top. They look fantastic. Um, once they cool off, I may have a couple of these for lunch. Um, it's 12.18 right now. These came out at 12.15, so it was exactly a half an hour. So now I'll know that I won't have to sit and wait um, and keep you know, opening up the oven every couple minutes, I'll know just exactly one half an hour uh, for them to be done. They're super cute, super delicious. Um, I love the way, I just love the texture. To me, I like eating, I mean, it's springy, very moist. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not gonna be something that is um, hard on your pouch 
uh, whether you are um, gastric bypass, whether you are VSG, whether you are um, DS, uh, any of those weight loss surgeries. And of course, these are exceptionally good and healthy and delicious for really anyone. You don't have to eat them just because you've had weight loss surgery. Just in, the, in our community, it definitely uh, helps us to be on track with um, getting in our protein and finding things that are convenient, especially if you work out of the house. Now, I don't work out of the house. Uh, I have a very convenient, uh, you know, convenience to being able to be home. So I meal prep as much as I can. Mm. Mm, I can definitely taste the garlic too. So that's it. I got 12 babies all ready to go. I'm gonna stick these in the refrigerator and I'll be back with what I eat next. Okay guys, so it is 12.42. I am having lunch. I decided to make like my take on a grilled cheese, which is cut the carb. I have one slice of American cheese in each of these, there's three. I don't think I can eat all three. This is just one cut the carb. Um, but if not, I'll just eat it later. Um, so basically it's three uh, slices of American cheese and three, uh, sorry, two ounces of the honey ham. Mm. We all love the crunch. Mm. So that's what I'm gonna eat for lunch and I'll be back with my next meal. Hi guys, I'm back. It is in the afternoon, it's three o'clock. Um, the last time I came at you, I had been having my lunch, which was the cut the carb made into a ham and grilled cheese. I'm actually going to have a Premier Protein with some uh, unsweetened Starbucks iced black coffee. So I just put these together. Um, Mini Me in Tennessee actually introduced me to these maybe a year and a half ago. Um, and they are delicious. I either use caramel or chocolate. That's one thing is after surgery, your taste buds will change. I do not like any of the other flavors. They are all gross to me. I don't like them at all. Let me get my little measuring cup. Normally I don't measure in the coffee, but I will because my husband is back home and he uses it too. And so I don't want to use too much on, on him. So I'm going to measure it out like he does. Eight ounces. Um, so I have one premier protein, eight ounces of Starbucks coffee. And of course I'm using it in my beautiful, beautiful cup that Tanya made me. Let me flip it around. Uh, yeah, so because I'm feeling a little hungry and it's not quite dinner time, I figured I'd have this. This is the cup that Tanya made me. It says my name on it, Dory. She is with, uh, it's Tanya from Voodoo Queen on YouTube and Instagram. And she has VDQ Creations is how you can order a mug like this. My other one that I drink water in is over there as well. I might as well, might as well give her a plug for both of them. This is my water cup. I love it. It's pink gold it's all the sparkles and it says she believes she could so she did that is mine that's my motto i'm gonna have it tattooed one day on this forearm right here um but until now then i have a coffee cup and a water mug now with that on it so basically i'm going to sip on this now for the next hour hour and a half and then i'm going to take my vitamins so i'm going to take one biotin I'm going to take one D3. I'm going to take two of my women's formula multivitamin and minerals uh, from Trader Joe's. I take two of those as one uh, serving or one, you know, um, dosage. And then I'm going to take my probiotic and I take two of these and I take that daily. And um, I think that that's really been holding off all the bugs that are going around with the kids. Um, I did have a sinus infection. I'm still on antibiotics now. 
I'm on zithromycin, but I'm still going to take these because I had already been in the habit of taking them. And so I'm gonna have all of these, and then um, I'm going to take my calcium citrate before I go to bed um, tonight because, in case you didn't know, do not mix your calcium citrate with your vitamins because vitamins contain iron and it'll cross, uh, you know, cancel each other out, the vitamin and the um, calcium the uh, iron so i take mine separate so i'll take these now at three o'clock and by nine o'clock i will take my calcium citrate so until my next meal i'll be back hey guys so i'm back with my dinner i felt like meatballs so i'm having three meatballs Oop, my camera just fell it's actually if i showed you guys what i'm actually leaning against you would laugh um so i'm having meatballs with one ounce of cheddar cheese for my dinner. I'm probably gonna also have a bag of this protein popcorn I just picked up. I'm also hopping on the train of keto coffee with from Bang, which is what um, tons, of, tons of you guys, Mitchell, Minnesota drinks this. Um, highly recommended from, um, what is, Little Kansas Kitty, Jessica. I got two different flavors. My husband's drinking these things, these Bang Energy drinks, so I got a bunch of different flavors of those. I got some Quest Bars. I got these Protein Bites. These are really good. They look like, um, I guess this is like a Fruity Pebble. Yep, Fruity Cereal. This one has uh, 20 grams of protein, gluten-free. Let's see, for all three pieces, which I don't usually eat all three, I usually have one at a time, but it's 240 calories. 8 grams fat, 25 carbs, 4 sugars, 20 protein. But if you divide that a third, that's what I have for a serving. And then I got some of this Hank's Protein Peanut Butter. Um, it's on the pricey side, and it's not like the stats are okay. It's like 2 tablespoons, 180 calories, 13 grams fat. Uh, there's 5 net carbs, 2 sugars, but 19 grams of protein. And so I usually take my chalk zero and dip it in here when I'm eating that. Um, so after these meatballs in that bag of popcorn, I think that's all I'm going to have. I'll put a picture of my stats and what they came to be at the end of this video of what I've eaten today. I think it's probably going to be maybe 1100 calories for the whole day. Uh, I think I'm at maybe 20 carbs for the day. Um, but I'll put that definitely at the end of this video. And if I'm going to eat anything else or drink anything else, I'll come back and let you guys know.